How do you score 60 goals in just 73 NHL games? You create your own shooting technique that generates effortless power and creates nightmares for opposing defenders and goalies. Austin Matthews' trademark shot has made him arguably the most dangerous shooter in the world, with only one other player rivaling him for that title. Plenty of Matthews' goals will come from one-timers, nifty plays around the net, tips and tap-ins, but it's the patented outside leg snapshot that separates him into another league. While he often scores off his ridiculously quick catch and release, I want to look at the five keys to his shot on the rush that goalies know is coming but still can't can't stop. It starts with his puck handling ability. Although he's known more for his shot, Matthews was fifth in pure voting for best stick handler in the National League. Having a good feel for the puck allows Austin to keep his eyes up and on target so he knows what he has to shoot around and what the goalie's positioning is looking like. You'll notice Matthews in a tripod-like stance before shooting. This wide base is critical if you want to emulate his shot. It allows him to be on his inside edges and he can easily change angles before pulling the trigger by simply putting weight into the opposite leg of the direction he wants to go. More importantly, it offers a biomechanical advantage for his weight shift and rotation during the upcoming shooting motion. The third key is the path of the puck. He starts it off by moving the puck out wide on his forehand side, which allows him to pull the puck inwards toward the midline of his body before releasing the shot. This will enable him to get his shot around the defender's legs, get the goalie moving side to side, and create momentum to generate max velocity through rotation, downward force on the bottom hand, and pulling back on his top hand. So I've got a drill for you to do the next time you're on the ice. Get into a nice wide base, get that puck out on your forehand side, pull it in, and get into that Matthews shooting position, but keep the puck outside your inside leg. So I'm a left-handed shot. I'm gonna keep that puck on the outside of my left leg here and just kind of feel where your weight's distributed here. So I've got about 90% of my weight here. I've got some weight in my hands, but there's not that much weight in my left hand here to create power. But if I bring that puck inside this inside or left leg for me, and now I get into that position, that split squat lunge position, now I can really get weight down and power and force into that puck, into that ice, and I can get a nice top hand pull Back as well. So the tighter you can get that puck into the midline of your body, the more power you're going to be able to create. If you watch Matthews, it's almost always going to finish pointing towards that target. So if the net's here where the camera is and he's going to shoot there, he's almost always finishing in that direction and it just makes more sense. You're going to generate more power. It's going to allow you to come down on that puck easier where if I was going this way, I'm kind of sweeping it across. But if I'm going straight at that target, I can drive that bottom hand in and really pull back on that top hand. Austin Matthews' athleticism can't be overlooked as it plays a significant role in his ability to blast pucks by goalies. For simplicity's sake, it can be broken down into three areas, mobility, stability, and power. In order to generate the most force possible with this type of movement, mobility is needed in areas like the ankles, hips, spine, and shoulders. We know Austin takes mobility seriously as after the 2020 offseason, his trainer Ian Mack was quoted saying, We just wanted anything he asked of his body to be less of a task. The less challenging it can be for him to move through all of his motions, the more energy and the more efficient he is with everything else. Stability in the ankles, legs, hips, and core are essential for maximum power transfer through the kinetic chain as this shot is taken off a single leg, which increases the susceptibility of power loss through energy leaks. You can close all of these leaks with hockey-specific stability work. This is why Austin's trainer also said he leaned hard on Matthews to improve the stability in his hips and waist, calling those improvements the two largest things they did in the offseason. And lastly, power is needed, as no matter what your technique looks like, if you aren't powerful, you won't be able to transfer that energy through your legs, hips, core, and upper body into the puck to fire a blistering shot like Matthews. Power is worked on in the gym with strength training and explosive movements, and if you take one look at Matthews' quads, you can see he isn't skipping leg day. Without these three branches of athleticism, your body wouldn't be able to effectively generate the force with this type of shot, no matter how good your technique is, which is why all three play a huge role in our off-season domination training program. We start off each workout with power-based movements before moving into strength and stability training and finish with hockey-specific loaded stretching for mobility. If you're interested in joining the team this off-season, you can find the online-based program at hockeytraining.com. I hope this video was able to give you a good look into why Matthews is scoring at an insane rate in today's NHL, and now it's time for you to hit the ice and the gym to work on improving your shot. Let's go.